Hello, it's Markham Torch here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about ways to communicate between blueprints. So here I've got a trigger box just in the middle here, and I'm going to walk through the trigger box, and that's going to turn yellow, which is a different blueprint. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Please make sure you click like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with any content that I'm releasing. So this tutorial is all about communicating between blueprints. So I'm just going to do something very simple and very easy. The first thing I'm going to do is create the game instance. So in a free space in one of the folders, right click, blueprints, add blueprint interface. And we will call this bi underscore interface. Double click on here. So by default, we get one function. I'm going to call this function create. Sorry, let's go change color blue. And I'm going to compile. So that's the important bit. We're going to have to compile. Let's now close this one. And I'm going to create another blueprint. And we'll just, an actor's fine. This is going to be uh, BP underscore enter box. And I'm going to create another blueprint class. And we'll call this BP underscore change color. Beautiful. So I'm going to set this in the blueprint, uh, in the level. Let's double click to edit this blueprint. I'm just going to add in a box collision and let's just raise that up a little bit and let's just scale that up. And now if we come back into our main level, we can see that we've got, uh, the box collision in there for the BP color. I'm going to throw that over there just so we can actually see it. Let's come into here. I'm just going to add in a cube. And there we go. Let's just move that up just so it's kind of sitting so we can actually see. So when we go for a walk in, the cube is there. Nothing happens. That is fine. So from here, let's go into our uh, enter box event graph. I'm going to just delete everything in our box. On begin overlap we want to send a message to the other blueprint and we're going to do that via the uh, BI interface so if I type in here and we go I can't remember what we go so if we come back into the uh, blueprint interface we named our function change color blue so let's now go into our enter box change color blue and we can send a message and from here I want to target a specific box which is that this blueprint here so from here I'm going to create a variable and we're going to call this we're going to call this the um, box changeo <laughs> and I'm going to come up here into the variable type and change this to an actor and from here let's drag it into get actor here we go. And let's enable that variable to be publicly editable. <laughs> let's compile. So if we now come into the first level, into the level, we'll see our BP box change zone. And we want to affect the change color. So from here, I'm going to use the eyedropper. BL, for some reason I called it BL, change color. So at the moment, if I come in here to change color, we go into event graph and I want to do change color, but I've only got the message. We don't want a message. We want a event to be triggered off. So what we've got to do is come up into class settings, add, and we want to add in the interface, BI interface, compile. From here, let's go search and change color event blue so now whenever that box is triggered we can change we, um, it will now send off an event so if i go set material of cube and what material should we go whatever let's just go yellow compile play so we now box is over here somewhere and we've changed it straight to yellow that's how we can communicate between blueprints.